He's from Newport News, Virginia, and his name is Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks, give him love. Who you know fresher than whole? Riddle me that. The rest of y'all know where I'm lurking yep. yeah. Can't none of y'all mirror me back. Yeah. What's up, Oakland? Oh, man, I'm loving your city. I was out chilling at the, the Chinatown over near her somewhere, and I had some, like, Chinese food today. Like, I don't know what it is, but how come every time you order Chinese food, they talk to you in broken English, and you talk right back to them in broken English? Uh, okay, uh, you want the shrimp fry rye, uh, egg roll, uh, sweet tea? Uh, all right, uh, 10 minutes, okay? I go outside, uh, smoke a cigarette. Uh, I'll be back uh 10 minutes, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and Chinese people, I don't think they believe in daycare, y'all. Like, you ever seen a Chinese kid in a daycare? Hell no. Nah. They all go to work with them. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm at the buffet. The kid come up to me. You want some more? Oh, I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was a good little waiter, though. I tipped him $3. Yeah, he put it in his diaper. Uh, shit. Yo, they at the nail shops learning how to do pedicures. You know, dad, he like, one day, son, uh, this uh, all I belong to you, okay? Uh, no Laney College for you. Uh, 12th grade, I your knee. Yeah. And, I, and how many out here that like letters, tattoo letters on your body? How many? Somebody got them. Like, you don't really know what they mean for real. You just got to go about what the tattoo artist says. You're like, yeah, this means uh, God be with you. My boy, he got a bunch of those Chinese letters on his body. And I asked my friend, y'all, he Chinese. I said, yo, what that say for real? He said, oh, not good. <laughs> uh, manicure, pedicure, $39.99. <laughs> he walking around with a billboard on his back. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm out in Oakland in my rental car. And I realized gas is high out here. $10 don't do nothing for the tank no more. So I get you to the next gas station. Man, shit. I put ten dollars in my car today. Another light came on and said, uh, "You bullshitting." Uh, gas high back home too, cause my boy he asked me if I could take him to work. Told me he has something on the gas, right? He got in my car and gave me three dollars. Yeah, I took him to two stop signs. Uh, shit, yo, this all three dollars gonna get you, bro. Uh, I had a day job till I got fired. The crazy thing about getting fired from your job, how come everybody know you getting fired before your ass do? Shit, I went to work. I ain't even know. People come to me like, yo, dude, what you doing here? You ain't heard? Uh, uh, you don't work here no more. It's crazy. This is how they get you. They will let you work your whole shift. And right when you about to get out, here comes the supervisor. <laughs> Can I talk to you in the office? I was mad, man. I feel like committing a crime. But I realized I can't afford a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Because if you commit a crime, don't get you no public offender. Uh, your ass going to jail. I took my cousin to see his lawyer. I should have knew something was wrong when a lawyer had on a do-rag. Yeah, my cousin, he lost his case, though. Yeah, he get out 2000 never, ever. Uh, I've been trying to make some extra money. I don't know anybody here like work from home. Anybody home? No. Yeah, my boy, yo, he work from home. Yeah, he sell weed. We legal in like two states. It's Colorado, Washington State. I was thinking like, yo, what's up with the drug dealers down there? You know what I'm saying? Because you sell weed. You see one of your customers like, yo, what's up, man? I got that weed. You trying to cop something? Nah, I'm good, bro. Yeah, 7-Eleven cheaper. <laughs> yeah, they got that buy one blunt, get one free special. Uh, I had to go back to my job, though, y'all, to pick up my last check. And I took it to the bank. And I'm, fellas, let me talk to you. Keep it real. You ever went to the bank to cash your check? There was this pretty ass girl working there. And you didn't want her to wait on you because you didn't want her to know how broke you was? You be in line like, ha ha, you go ahead, man. <laughs> I ain't ready yet. Oh, a pretty girl might try to embarrass you. You know, it's like, so, sir, you mean to tell me you want to cash this check for $5.99? Yeah, I don't have enough quarters for this one. I go to Wells Fargo, man. There's one girl, man. I saw her name tag said Michelle. I was trying to talk to her, but I'm nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. I go up to the counter. Leah yeah, Michelle's one, and maybe next Friday I could probably take you out on a date or something. She on the computer like, well, according to your bank statement, <laughs> you can't afford it. <laughs> hey, Oakland, y'all been great. Peace. I'm in Boeing Jets, Global Express, out the country, but the blueberries still connect on the 